Hello everyone, this is Bev here, Clerical Vision, and this is um, my second video um, showing another 12, 12 inches. Um, so yeah, I, I think a couple of weeks ago I put up the first one, roughly about two weeks ago, um, which was a response to Cloudy Wilder who had shown some of his 12 inch singles, and I thought that was a cool idea because um, 12 inch singles, you don't see too many of them being shown in the VC and I think they're a lot of fun. Um, so um, I went through, I wasn't sure if I had another full 12 but I do just have another 12 although I think there's a couple, when I've looked at them I think there's a couple here I'll probably not be hanging on to actually. Um, but I do have 12 to show um, and none of them are Def Leppard. Um, there might be a third one coming and that will just be Def Leppard only because I have quite a lot from them and yeah, I just thought I would keep that separate and um, so that if you're not too fussed for seeing Def Leppard then you can sort of skip that one if you want to. Um, but this one is just uh, more random 12 inch singles that I've picked up either from back in the day or from more recent times um, that were going cheap. Uh, so yes, so we'll just continue on. I think the last one, um, I'm kind of just going through alphabetically. I think we stopped at Ghostbusters, so we're still in the G's actually. Um, so the next one that I have, <coughs> and this was like a 99 pence find a couple of years ago as well. Um, this is the Georgia Satellites. Uh, another chance. Um, so the Georgia satellites are kind of, kind of, sort of, they've got an element of the country vibe about them, but they're kind of southern rock, rock and roll, um, classic rock, hard rock, country rock kind of thing. I would put them somewhere else. They're a lot of good fun actually to listen to. Um, and I just saw this in the bargain bin uh, one day and so I thought I would grab it but um, I don't know if I'm going to hang on to this one or not to be honest with you. Um, so you've got another chance which would have been the single at the time, this was 1989 on Electra uh, from the album In the Land of Salvation and Sin and on side two you've got Saddle Up and That Woman. And um, so here we, here we have that one. Um, so just slot that one in. Then the next one up I have um, is actually um, this, I found this box. Um, so it's a 12 inch box, collectible box set thing. And uh, it's the band Gun. And that's all it says on the box. It's just, um, but the single um, which was inside it, um, is uh, Steal Your File, which is from the album Gallus, and uh, so you do have four tracks on this actually, believe it or not. <laughs> um, so on side one you've got uh, Steal Your Fire, sorry there's a bit of a glare there, Steal Your Fire, which is an absolutely fabulous song, so energetic, and Don't Blame Me. And on side two you have running down the house, eh, sorry, burning down the house and reach out for love. Uh, and this was released in 1992, that's when the Gallus album came out. Um, this is an absolutely mint condition, I was really glad to find this, it's on the old fashioned, uh, old style A&M records with the sort of red label. Um, and also in the box that you got with it, um, you got uh, one of these pin badges, it's a metal with the, the band logo, and you got an absolutely huge, and it's a, and, and I mean it's huge, a massive uh, poster. Um, it's like a promotional poster that you would see in a shop window or something, and it's uh, it's just basically the same as the uh, the cover art. I think it's basically like that, and it's got um, at the bottom. It's got available on seven inch 
uh, CD single or something and um, 12 inch collectible single whatever you know um, I'm not going to open this out because as I say it's about the same height as me and uh, I don't want it but this is fab so I was so chuffed to get this um, I just keep the single actually out of the box, beside the box, so that I can just grab the single without going in and out of this box all the time. Bear with me, I have to put it the right way. It just sits in there very nicely. That's the top, that's better. So, and it's in really nice condition. I think I paid 99 pounds for it, so that was what we call a good deal. Uh, next up, I've got this one, Deborah Harry. I want that man. Uh, obviously, this was um, Debbie Harry from Blondie. Um, and this was a solo track from her. This, again, is 1989, um, so very late 80s. Uh, and you've got I Want That Man and on Side one, you've got the 12 inch remix of I Want That Man, and then you've got the 7 inch single version right after it. And on side B, we have um, an instrumental, I think, of I Want That Man, and also a song called Bike Boy. Um, so, yeah, and that's on the chrysalis label, which is, I don't know how well you can see that because of the brightness. Um, but again, it's another song I really liked that was quite uh, energetic sounding song. Uh, next up, um, this one here is uh, from The Hooters. Oh, it's just an email. Uh, this is from The Hooters. Um, and it is a single, Carla with a K, um, and again this one has four tracks on it. Um, so yeah, this came out in 1987 and it was from their album One Way Home, um, which had their gigantic hit in the UK satellite, which is the lead track of this album, and um, Satellite, I have the 7 inch single of that, and it was a very f one of the first records I ever got. Uh, for my Christmas in 87 because um, I've got a first hi-fi and record player with it then um, so uh, I've still got that thing I love the single I've now got this album on the CD actually um, it's a pretty good album they're kind of um, folk rocky they're a bit like kind of pop rock folk rock kind of uh, style um, but Satellite's a good pop rocker, and um, it's it's great. Um, and they use kind of all these different instruments, you know, like they've got these kind of things, um, and uh, these kind of squeeze box things, you know. The the there is a name for them, and it just escapes me right now. Yeah, um, and I think they had these uh, keyboard things that you could blow into as well, or kind of weird looking things at the time and you know so yeah they used a whole range of different instruments um but yeah so this is carla with a k which is another song and uh, along with that you have on side a washington's day which is another track off the album and on side b you've got don't take my car out tonight <laughs> and hanging on a heart beat and they're from the previous album called Nervous Night and I think that was about around about 1985 that one so these two songs I've never heard before um, so again grabbing this which I think was 99 pence as well or £1.20 or something um, gave, gave me an opportunity to hear these two tracks as well so um, that is The Hooters uh, and they're from, uh, I think they're from, according to Discogs, they're from Philadelphia and the United States. I, for some bizarre reason, and I don't know why, I used to think they were from Norway, these guys, but I have no idea where I got that from, but, you know, they're from America. Uh, then I've got some very cool ones here. 
Uh, this is an amazing find. Uh, grabbed this just last year out of uh, one of the record stores here. And it's Iron Maiden, Can I Play With Madness, 12-inch, 1988. Original uh, 1988 pressing. This is not the reissued one. Um, so yeah, you've got Can I Play With Madness. And on side two, you have Black Bart's Blues and Massacre. Um, and you've actually got these are the, that's the lyrics to the song on the back here. <laughs> so yeah, I was so delighted to find this in really nice condition. Because um, this is um, one of my favourite Iron Maiden songs. Um, I think Mark G with a C saved that recently as well. So yeah, brilliant stuff. Um, now I've got another brilliant one now. I got this came in from Germany. Um, I think it's a German press actually, and it's Judas Priests, and it is the maxi single, uh, which is what they seem to call it over in mainland. Um, Turbo Lover extended version. Um, so yeah. Absolutely chuffed to bits to get this. Um, so this is obviously 1986 from Turbo, and there you have it. Side one, Turbo Lover extended version. Although when I do listen to it, I don't really notice too much difference between this and the album, to be honest. With you. Um, to the album version. And then on the other side, you've got Hot for Love, produced by Tom Allen. This is on CBS. Uh, and there we have it. Just absolutely wonderful. Absolutely adore this record. I think it's one of my favourite Judas Priest songs, Turbo Love. It's just so 80s. I think I've said that before as well. Uh, then after that I found this. This is another 99p bargain find. Um, level 42. This is a song I love. Um, there's a few scratches on the disc, but it does play all right. Uh, just a couple of crackles. Um, so this is the, it's a, it's a double A side actually. So you've got Leaving Me Now and I Sleep On My Heart. These were the two singles. Um, so on side A you've got I Sleep On My Heart. And then the other A side, as you can see there's the two A's there, Leaving Me Now. And you also got a song called Dream Crazy. Um, so yeah, they're all off the album World Machine. Um, but yeah, but uh, I bought it for the song Leaving Me Now. I just think it's a, a lovely, really nice um, song. So that's level 42. Um, they were pretty popular and the 80s here in the UK as well, um, 1985 that one. Next, um, I'm not massively a fan of Richard Marx, but there is one or two of his songs that I like. Uh, funnily enough, they're kind of ballady songs, um, but this one is there's just so much feeling to the song, um, and this is one of my favourites, which is why I've bought this when I saw it. Um, this is Hold On To The Night, um, maxi single on the, the sticker there. Um, so this one, I'm, trying to just, I'm not too sure if this is a US or a UK, um, I don't think it's European. But uh, yeah, so on this you have Hold On To The Night's the LP edit. So um, it's slightly shorter than the actual album version. And then on side B you've got Hold On To The Night's a live version, which is cool. Um, another reason for me buying this is I was getting a live version of this song. Um, and another song called Lonely Heart. And so this is 1988, EMI Manhattan, and I think, what does it say here? Well, it could be German, or it could be European actually, because there's German writing. 
Because we was English. And the live one was recorded live at the Palace Theatre. I think that's... Oh, there you go. Made in EEC. So it, it's a European press. So probably from Germany. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a really nice song. That, and um, I'll have to grab that. Uh, and this one, this is the third last. Um, I have Skid Row and Wasted Time. So this is from the Slave to the Grind album. Um, that isn't a mark on, on the cover, that's actually part of the cover. Um, just in case you're on, it's actually part of the cover, that sort of darker mark. Um, so yeah, um, this, as I say, this is from <sighs> Slave to the Grind. Um, I think this is a limited, what is it? It's got the hype stickers on it. It also features um, Get the Bleep Out, recorded live at Wembley Stadium in August 91. I think that was at Donington that year. Um, and yeah, contains language that some people might find offensive. Um, so it's actually a gatefold, so I'm not sure if this was actually a limited edition. Um, that is a picture inside the old Wembley Stadium. Um, it's no longer there now. It's, there's a new one being built in its place, much more modern. Um, this is the classic one that Freddie Mercury and Queen would have played it um, back in the 80s. So yeah, so we have wasted time on site one. Um, on side two, you've got what you're doing, which says here a track that originally appeared on the first self titled Rush MP. This version has never been released, not ever. So, there you go, there's another reason to buy this, as you're getting a cover of that Rush song. Um, and after that, you get on side two, the second track is Get the Bleep Out Live. Uh, so, yeah. And I remember, I remember that's, they've got that video, Oh Say Can You Scream. I used to have a t shirt with that uh, print on it. I scared you back around the time. <laughs> yeah, because I did like them. Um, I did have Slave to the Grind on CD. Never got the first one. I've never ever owned the first schedule. Um, although I, I like a lot of the tracks on it. Um, but I did have Slave to the Grind. And I think if I was to compare, I mean, I, I don't know if I've heard every single song of them, if they're, they're self titled. Um, but I think I would just edge Slave to the Grind as my favourite out of these two classics. But I got rid of that CD, um, that was one I didn't hang on to, so I don't know, I might pick it up one day again if I ever come across it at a nice cheapy price. And that is on the Atlantic label. Second last, I have a copy of Van Halen's When It's Love. Um, this is one of the few Van Halen songs that I really like. I remember this song, and I think I first heard it on America's Top 10, eh, sorry, America's Top 30 that would be on, it would be broadcast uh, through our local radio stations every Saturday or Sunday, was it Saturday or Sunday afternoon, one of the two, um, so you get America's Top 30 and I think that was in the, the charts over there, um, I'm not really sure how well this song did, if it was even released as a single over here, because I don't recall I could be wrong, I need to go and look it up. I don't recall this being in the UK charts, but I could be wrong. But I do remember it being in the US charts. Um, and I just found this a couple of weeks ago, actually, um, at a charity shop, so I grabbed it. Um, because I do like the song When It's Love. So you've got When It's Love, which is the album version on side A. And on side B, you've got Apocalypse, A Political Blues, and when it's love, the seven inch edit, edited version. Um, and it's from the album OU812, 
Um, the apolitical blues is a very bluesy track. It is so... It's pure blues actually, more or less. Um, I'm not a huge fan of blues to be honest with you. Um, I don't mind it, the odd song here and there, but I couldn't listen to a lot of it. Um, so yeah, and this one again is 1988 I think. Yes, 1988. So um, yeah, and that's on Warner Brothers label. And the last one, oh, oh no no, I've got two to go, sorry. <laughs> I'm blabbering on a little bit more here. Right, I better get on with this. Two more. Um, this is Wham! 12 inch single of Freedom. Um, I must have harped on and harped on to my dad for long enough to the point where he went and got the 12 inch because he, I know he got me the 7 inch single. He has it in his collection. Um, and I had actually forgotten until we discovered this up in the attic. Um, with a few others, mostly my brother's stuff. Um, I was like, oh, I would do the 12 inch, and uh, that was tough to have it because Freedom by Wham was my favourite song by Wham. Absolutely adored it. Well, it's one of my favourites. At the time, I just loved it. Uh, so, this is 1984, and it is the. What have you got? It says long version there. Um, so, on side A, you've got. Freedom Long Mix on the Epic label, and on side two you have Freedom the Instrumental. So you don't even have the radio edit, you know, you need to have the 7 inch single for the 7 inch version, So, which is what we do have, so yeah. So I was really chuffed to rediscover that one. And lastly is another chart hit. High energy chart song um, from 1988 in the UK. This is Jane Wheedlin and Rush Hour. Uh, Jane Wheedlin went solo for a while um, at this time. This is 1988. Um, she used to be in the Gogos with Belinda Carlisle. And of course, Belinda Carlisle was having good solo success at this point with Heaven on Earth. Um, so yeah, and this, this is a great, it's just a pop song, but it's, um, you know, there's a cool little guitar solo in it. Um, so there you've got Rush Hour, and on here we have Rush Hour, the extended remix on side A, followed by Rush Hour, the 7 inch single, and on side 2 you have Rush Hour instrumental, and a song called End of the Lung. So there are your four versions there. And so that is my 12 inch singles. And that's basically it. There is one more, um, which happens to be Easy Lover by Phil Collins and Philip Bailey. Um, but I don't like the 12 inch version of that. It's like a, it's more of a dance mix. Um, it's a bit different to the, right, so I went with the, I found the seven inch single I'm keeping that and I'm going to um, pass on or get rid of the, the 12 inch at that one. So, um, but that's it. That is my 12 inch. As I say, I don't have a lot. and um, The rest of them are all Def Leppard. So I'll see uh, about maybe putting them into a video all for themselves. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And I'll catch you all in another video. Bye just now.